Hello there, Pixel Pushers, and today we are diving into a comprehensive review of Shad CN UI, a unique React component solution that has been making waves in the developer community over the last year and a half. Shad CN UI is not your regular NPM component library. It's more of a toolkit that hands you the building blocks so you can craft your UI with precision. But you know what they say, even the new ideas are just forgotten old ones. So what exactly is Shad CN UI made of, and should you be using this for your next project? Let's dive in and find out. Hi, I'm Yana Harris. I'm a principal front-end engineer with over 12 years of experience. And on this channel, I make comprehensive reviews of component libraries, web development trends, and tools so that you can make informed decisions. If you haven't done that already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. Now, let's get started. So in an essence, Shad CNUI is a clever combination of existing tools and solutions that handle various aspects of functionality, interactivity, and styling. First and foremost, it is a React-based library. So obviously, React is number one dependency. Now, you must know that one of the primary dependencies of Shad CN UI is Radix UI. It provides a large array of low-level accessible UI primitives that Shad CN UI is built on top of. Now, Radix UI components do come with some built-in styling, and the styling is achieved by Stitches, which is a CSS in JS styling library. Now, on top of it, Shad CN UI, of course, provides a lot of their custom styling, and it is actually leveraging Tailwind CSS. So Tailwind is a third dependency of the Shad CN UI. Zoostand is what's being used for internal state management within the library. And when it comes to form state management, they rely on React hook form dependency. Now, Shad CN UI is a React component solution that is unique and different from your regular NPM component dependency. Instead of adding this as a dependency in your package JSON and not really being able to edit or access the source code, Shad CN UI allows you to download the source code of these components into your project. This way you have full control over the future lifecycle of each of these components. However, this approach has its trade-offs. Since Shad CN UI downloads the component source code into your project, it means it's going to be tricky to get any bug fixes or future improvements, as this is no longer an NPM dependency. It is important to know, however, that Radix UI is not being downloaded as a source code into your project, and it remains being managed through NPM. This means if there's an update or a bug fix that comes through Radix UI distribution, you will be able to benefit from this and download the latest version by updating Radix UI in your package JSON. In my mind, this approach is ideal for small teams or even individual developers that require high precision and control over their components presentation and styling and are willing to invest time into maintaining these components in the long run. It can be a perfect foundation for best spoke, one of a kind, unique applications that are maintained by small teams or individual developers. Conversely, large teams and organizations might find this approach challenging and high maintenance. For teams where keeping up with bug fixes and security updates is critical, as well as maintaining consistency throughout the range of various products, it might be a better solution to move forward with an NPM dependency instead of in-house managed library. For such teams, moving away from Shad CN UI could be a practical solution reducing the overhead. Now, installing Shad CN UI is a little bit different than downloading an NPM package. There is a detailed step-by-step -step getting started guide where you will be able to learn more about the configuration options. It is a combination of Tailwind configuration as well as the Shad CN UI component configuration. Shad CN UI documentation has a detailed explanation for each of these options. So please go ahead and read up before you make your actual selections. Otherwise, you might have to go back and manually change your selection in configuration files. With a terminal command, you're downloading the source code of these components into your projects. And once done, you're free to do however you will with the source code. Shad CN UI relies on Tailwind for styling. However, due to the fact that the Radix UI is one of the main dependencies, you essentially have two ways of managing your styles within your application, Tailwind and Stitches UI. And those are two completely different approaches where Stitches is a CSS and GS solution, and Tailwind CSS is a utility-based styling library. Depending on the size of your team, this can be a benefit or a disadvantage. For example, for a single developer or a small team, it might give you more flexibility on how each of you is going to decide on styling these components. On the other hand, larger teams or organizations with multiple developers working on the same project might find the dual styling system challenging to maintain in terms of consistency and education. The need to maintain two different styling paradigms might add additional cognitive load and lead to inconsistency if not well managed. I'm personally is not a fan of the Tailwind, but we'll talk about it in a separate video. So is Shad CN worth your time? Absolutely, but with a caveat. If you value full control over your components, going for a best spoke application and appreciate what the Tailwind has to offer, this can be an excellent choice for you. However, if you're new to the Tailwind 
prefer a more traditional styling approach or looking to receive updates and bug fixes automatically, you might want to spend a little bit more time getting familiar with this library before making your final decision. Overall, this is a very powerful tool for developers who would like to get under the hood of their code. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with your fellow developers. Also, please let me know in the comments about what your experience with Shatsy and UI has been so far. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.